How's it going, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to a brand new episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. So right now, Layla decided to go to the dog park with Ducky because the kids are at school and the toddlers are at daycare. So she decided to um, take use of this brand new free time that she has and go ahead and treat Ducky to a visit to the park. And she's actually trying to teach Ducky how to do the obstacle course here. Um, she did level up in her dog training skill, which I didn't know, or pet training skill. I didn't know that um, going through the obstacle course would um, up that skill, but apparently it did. So that's awesome. Just another skill to add to the book. But today she is in her third trimester, so she's probably going to give birth this episode, which I'm super excited about. So we're going to be one, two, three, four, and then we'll probably have twins. So five, six kids in. So, I mean, to me, I mean, we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good um but it looks like she's having a great time and it's almost the end of fall but look at all the leaves like falling down from the trees it's so freaking pretty um i always love the fall and winter um time in the sims 4 it's just so beautiful like everything about it looks like ducky has only had two faults as well so i think that's pretty good i'm not sure i haven't really um played with this part of pets or the pet training that much but just look at layla like she has this beautiful glow to her every time that she's pregnant it's kind of insane um i'm kind of jelly but this guy wants to talk to us his name's tua um let's go ahead and give him a friendly introduction definitely put him on the list um as another donor in the future but ducky's doing pretty good right now i don't know i just felt kind of bad that we were kind of um not giving her as much attention ever since we had the babies but she's really good with them like i was kind of scared that she would be a little aggressive to the kids um because you know kids like they pull the dog's hair and like they mess with the dog all the time and stuff but ducky has been very very kind very sweet as always but it says not bad but not perfect ducky had a time of two hours and three faults during their run make sure layla gives them proper training and discipline before running the course again well i'm not sure if we'll have enough time to give her the proper training um yet but uh maybe in the future i don't know maybe when she's like an elder she can be like a dog trainer or something you know but let's go ahead and give her a little bit of attention and we did introduce ourselves to tua so let's go ahead and give him a heart oh no he's leaving okay um i guess <laughs> he had a pillow up here i guess he's going to sleep or something i don't know it's kind of weird um to sleep on the or sleep in the pet park unless you're homeless which totally fine totally fine um but we got somebody swinging over here i think this is a guy that, actually wait this is our doctor that um <laughs> helped us give birth to georgia and damien so that's super cool um but i wanted to see also i love this part of Burlington bay um, I love the statue, but is there uh, pet supplies, pet food, or a food, or a drink? Um, I did want to get a drink. Let's get some coffee. <laughs> Layla, you are totally me, girl. I love me some freaking coffee, specifically iced coffee. I know that's basic. I'm a basic B word, but it's fine. And you know what? If you like iced coffee, go ahead and like it. Do whatever you want, girl or guy. Like, I hate the whole like basic uh, B word kind of thing. Like, if you like iced coffee or like anything, fall time like it's kind of a stigma around that but like you do you like i love me ice some iced coffee like i make mine at home all the time too because i ended up spending a lot of money um at like starbucks and dunkin donuts on coffee so i just learned how to make it myself and it's actually pretty good but it looks like she's enjoying her iced coffee and just kind of sitting here <laughs> she's looking at the clouds like she's reminiscing uh the days before children no i'm just kidding she's really happy with the kids that she has but the arrows are going up so i have no idea when we're gonna give birth but um i'm hoping we have another baby girl because georgia is like totally outnumbered right now so that's something i'm kind of looking forward to but she has a caffeine buzz and that coffee definitely made her pee so let's go ahead and go pee and i think we're gonna go home and check on the kids right after welcome back home guys so it looks like the kids are back from school and they are currently still c students which is totally okay i'm just 
just going to have them do their homework right now. And then, what are you sad about, babe? Uh, poor dolls from Broken Dollhouse. Who broke the freaking dollhouse? Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, let's go ahead and repair it. I'm not sure who broke it, but I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to fix it, and then we'll be done. But we are working from home today. And, oh, look at the twins doing their homework together. They're so cute. But she's going to fix that. And then we do have um, a work from home task and it says to get focused and level up in the video gaming skill um so do we have enough food for the kids so we don't have to cook tonight uh yeah we should be totally fine um so she's really tired not sure why can i get her like a sleep replacement i think i can um just because i want her to finish um, her work duties tonight. So let's go ahead and get that sleep replacement and she did fix this which is awesome So drink that and then I guess we can get our video gaming skill up on the computer So let's go ahead and play skin uh, skim scuffle. No sim scuffle not even sure what that is But we will see we will see but we got some dirty dishes right here So let's go ahead and clean up I'm not trying to have this house be a filthy mess um, Also, if you didn't notice uh, I did get us a shower because because taking a bath just took way too long um, but it looks like the babies are up so I'm gonna have um, Mr. Jimmy forgot his name Jimmy stack and then for Stephen I want him to stack as well and get that movement skill up so yeah you see like Ducky's super great with the kids like always talking to them and stuff like that but she's playing some sim scuffle um not sure what this is it kind of looks like a UFO oh wait is this like sim city kind of looks like what it is but she's video gaming skill level one so she needs to get to two um I'm wondering if that will up her logic no not logic skill her uh, focused emotion a little bit um, how else can we get focused we can uh, browse Simpedia play chess or asking the future cube so you know what let's go ahead and browse Simpedia first because I'm assuming that if we get focused a little bit more that we can kind of get the gaming skill a little bit quicker but it looks like the kids are almost done with their um, homework so that's awesome so okay I kind of decided that I'm not going to um, have them have it be a requirement for them to have a character skill or um, a character value in the green. So like on the rules page, it did say that if you had parenthood, you have to do that, enable for children to be aged up. But for me personally and my gameplay, I'm just gonna skip it because I feel like that would take just a little bit too long. But Layla's getting a phone call right now from Salim and he's wondering if I wanna go to his house and hang out. Um, you know I would, Salim, we love you. We really, really like you and we're probably gonna marry you, but we're gonna have to skip. Um, but it says she's focused right now, so I'm wondering when this caffeine buzz... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Um, take it out because her caffeine buzz is probably way done right now. But yeah, so she did get focused. So now that we're focused, I think... Um, gaming should go a little bit easier for us so yeah okay so there we go so we'll probably finish our work from home assignment soon um, and then we can work on our promotion task which is just to get five more followers on social media so we will definitely be fine um, but why are you sad babies tired of playing blocks I'm sorry you can play with something else go ahead and do um, play with dolls imagination uh, but let's go ahead and set out some food for Stephen because he is hungry. Um, I feel you, Stephen. I'm hungry all the time. Going to do a little bit of a shameless self promo right now. But if you guys do like this Let's Play, the 100 Baby Challenge, please do go check out my legacy challenge um, called Antonia's Legacy. It's basically a storyline based LP. So it's not like a legacy where I have goals and stuff. It's just kind of like um, whatever I want to do. Whatever Whatever I feel like is best and whatever or wherever Antonia's storyline goes so if you haven't checked out um, her create a sim or the machinima that kind of details her story definitely go and check that out um, I really love doing that let's play something about it just having just a simple storyline let's play and having the game just do its own thing it's just something that I really do enjoy and don't get me wrong I love 100 baby like it's so much fun um, 
Um, but I do love Antonio's legacy a lot. So I really do encourage you guys to go and check it out whenever you are able. So Georgia's in bed right now and Damien is about to go to bed, but it looks like Layla is about to level up in her gaming skills. So yay, we did it. So we did finish all the work from home assignments, but our promotion task is to get five more followers. So let's go to social networking and <laughs> do, um, let's see, update social media status. I'm wondering if that will give us five more followers. Is there anything else we can do to kind of promote ourselves? Um, nothing really else. So let's go ahead and see if that's going to give us five more followers. I'm really hoping it does. Yay. Okay. It did. So we are pretty much all caught up right now, which is amazing, but it looks like he is tired. So let's go ahead and send Stephen to bed. But Jimmy's just vibing, right? <laughs> She's vibing. Like he's not doing anything. He's just playing with the dolls. He's not even tired, um, but I'll send him to bed in a little bit. So I do want him to, I do want him to get a level three and one skill at least tonight. That would be nice. Layla's gonna grab a serving of some turkey dinner. I'm actually surprised that she hasn't given birth yet. I definitely thought she would today um, on Friday, but I guess it might happen in the middle of the night. I mean, I have no freaking idea, um, but Ducky just wants attention all the time. And you know what? I don't mind because she's super freaking cute. Like, look at how big she's getting, like her bump. Oh, and yes, girl, those back problems. She needs a real massage. I kind of want to take her out to a spa and get a massage but i'm not sure if you can do that um while you are pregnant but who are these people out here oh she's pretty what's her name lola um and then we got david herrera which we saw him earlier and i think we already met him but i do want her to finish her turkey dinner and i'll probably meet up back with you guys when she gives birth um whenever that will be <laughs> here we go guys gone into labor layla is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy so let's not waste any time guys let's go ahead and get this ish over with so i'm really hoping that she has another baby girl <laughs> because i feel really bad for georgia it's a little too bro town for her liking but let's go ahead and speed through and see what she has so okay it's a boy i'm holding out hope though um this baby needs a name what would you like to call him so going back to one of the earlier episodes i saw ambrose which i really liked for a boy name kind of reminds me of wizard 101 if you guys have ever played that um the headmaster of wizard 101 was merle ambrose so if you know what i'm talking about go ahead and let me know but we're gonna go ahead and press a check mark and it's another baby boy oh my god i jinx it y'all i jinx it i am so freaking sorry i should not have said anything um but let me look at the boy names you know what i'm gonna go ahead and go with wendell was another name that i saw oh my gosh georgia is like <laughs> i feel so bad for her like she's gonna wake up and be like i have two new baby brothers oh my god oh look she's even thinking about georgia she feels bad for georgia go ahead and chat with georgia later when she wakes up like yeah georgia um sorry about that but looks like the babies are all good and healthy so this is ambrose and then we got wendell super cute so we got a bunch of boys one girl totally fine but we are so freaking tired so let's go pee because she has to pee as always i mean what's new like she has to pee like all the time she peed her pants last episode i'm pretty sure because i had um the moodlet right here and i had to get her to shower and everything because her hygiene was all the way at the bottom but go ahead and skip your hand washing because we are not in the mood right now but we are feeding mr ambrose and then let's go ahead and go back to sleep and just kind of hope <laughs> that the kids don't cry through the night so i will see you guys in the morning so it is a beautiful saturday morning the kids are just playing some dolls here and layla's pretty much getting ready for her day um so since it is the weekend the kids won't be able to go to school this weekend so we're just gonna have to wait to age them up in the next episode so i'll probably play off camera um just a little bit over the weekend so because i want them to go to school and finally become a student so that we can make them teenagers because i really want to get them out of the house because now we just have like full-on children we don't have any teens or anything um so i did want to get that started but the babies are actually doing great right now like none of them cried throughout the night so i'm actually really impressed but it looks like stephen is up and he is very dirty so let's go ahead and give him a little bit of a bubble bath because he does 
deserves it. He's so cute. Not gonna lie though, I do have a favorite and that is Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something about his like cute chubby cheeks and like his little chunky legs. It just, uh, uh, it kills me. Like I love chunky babies. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but it's like my favorite um thing about babies when they get like so chunky in the beginning. Like they're not always gonna stay chunky most of the time, but they're just so cute. I wanna pinch their cheeks. Um, But it looks like we have some leaves over here that I kind of did want to rake but there's actually a pile of leaves over here so maybe the kids can actually play in them you know what I'm gonna go ahead and have Georgia go and play in it and I'm actually wondering if Damien can do it as well um, while she is doing it yes okay so I think they're gonna do it together so that's exciting but of course as soon as we start to have the fun the kids start <laughs> wailing so let's go ahead and feed them I'm pretty sure that that's what they need right now but we did level up in our parenting skills so let's see we are level five which is pretty sick we're halfway to mastering it but actually i see a little bit of a sad moodlet here um and it says morning layla is missing her friend that passed away so sometimes this will show up randomly um throughout the series and basically what i take from it is that she's just missing um emilio a lot if you don't know who emilio is um go ahead and check out the create a sim for layla it's, it's called like making my 100 baby matriarch or something um but i'll have it linked up here but basically she lost her fiance to um a fire and she just misses him a lot and he wanted to give her like a bunch of kids that has always been her dream um so i guess she's just missing him a lot especially with the new birth of the babies um it's just something that uh, she's always had to struggle with but it looks like ducky really wants to have some fun they haven't stopped crying either i'm kind of like what the heck what do you want <laughs> um okay so you have a stinky diaper change your dirty diaper and then you i guess we need to cuddle you or something um but did i did you play in this go ahead and play in it again i didn't see you play in it um but yay oh he's so cute i love him i used to love playing in leaf piles as a kid that was the best thing ever but it looks like he wants to be funny with Layla and discuss his favorite band so we can definitely do that um okay so I, <laughs> I do have autonomy off so that's why they're kind of standing here but I did want to plant these um I did want to get that started but go ahead and talk to Damien because your social skill um is kind of low so go ahead and give him a hug and then you can play make-believe for a little bit outside um but okay it looks like everybody's good the babies are fine go ahead and pet pet ducky just a little bit give her some lovin's um so what can you do you're actually a little bit hungry so let's open the fridge we do need to cook some more soon because eventually we're gonna run out of leftovers and those leftovers have been in there for a long time um but see like jimmy sleeps all the time i freaking love it i literally relate to him on a whole another level um but it says where is everyone from charmer toddlers not socializing oh <laughs> jimmy needs he needs socializing well let's go ahead and talk to him a little bit is she gonna hug him or something um what are you doing girl okay she just picked him up and <laughs> sent him back down but he's gonna go get something to eat and i guess we will give him a little bit of a bath later but now that we have a little bit of free time oh no don't eat the basil shoot <laughs> go ahead and plant um all of these plants right here and we will eventually get a planter box um i just didn't want to waste my money on that right now i did want to get um a little bit of money saved up but they're talking <laughs> she's just standing in in um the leaf pile just vibing i love that make some funny faces what else can you do enthuse about candy so i'm wondering if we can actually do something with the kids tonight maybe take them to the museum or the park or something but i do want to get the toddler skills up a little bit today um so that i will be able to age them up in the next episode like i said i'm probably gonna play off camera just a tiny bit because i feel like if i played on camera the whole time um i feel like you guys would get tired of having the same kids um the whole time like the whole series yeah Layla is just planting along everything looks pretty good and then we're gonna water everything as well I kind of wish kids could um plant or like garden um I know there's a mod for that but I'm just not feeling like putting a lot of mods in my game right now but looks like she's planting everything and let's go ahead and water all of it um because we don't want them to die so water 
Okay, so her queue is full, totally fine. Um, but the babies are crying, so she needs to finish up and hurry up with her gardening because I don't want our babies to be taken away. Um, but go and feed them. They're still talking. They're still having a grand old time. Um, she has a little bit of low fun though, so how about you guys? Um, can you order from here? Actually, cool. Okay, so how about you go and order... Um, a drink, do some sparkling apple juice. Wait, that said spiked. What does that mean? Does that, does that mean like alcohol? I'm not sure. Um, no, just go ahead and do apple spice nog. And then you can order a drink. You could get some chamomile tea. That sounds delicious. I actually love tea. Um, probably my favorite kind would be like orange tea or actually like green tea a lot too, which is kind of unpopular. I mean, I can see why people wouldn't like it, um, but I definitely like it. It's very soothing, you know? Ooh, and peppermint. That crap puts me to sleep. Like peppermint tea. Oh, I love it. For Stephen here, it looks like he's almost finished with his movement skill. Um, so let's go ahead and have him stack. And then I do want to give Jimmy a bath. What are you doing? No, Ducky's fine. Just go attend to your children. Um, so he's not hungry. What do you got to do? Go ahead and cuddle him. He probably just wants some attention. But who's giving Damien a call? It says Messiah. Messiah McNair would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Um, sure. Go ahead. Um, that is your dad. So, you know, I'm not going to say no, obviously. But go ahead and give Jimmy um not ducky give jimmy a bath but yeah messiah will be coming over in just a few minutes totally fine um that is your father so i mean what the heck why would you say no to that you know what i'm saying but i'm not seeing him so far so maybe he lied i mean i'm not sure um but did you drink your drink i don't know it didn't look like it wait what is this apple spice nog go ahead and drink that um, and then Georgia actually drank her chamomile tea and she is energized as crap. So that is awesome. Um, but who's this girl? I kind of want to make friends. Um, Callie Conrad, go ahead and give her a friendly introduction. I feel kind of bad because like her siblings is, um, all the people she knows. Um, so go ahead and give a friendly introduction to this girl. She looks pretty nice. I don't know. She can make a silly face with her and just kind of get to know her a little bit and enthuse about candy. Um, but he drank his apple spice nog. So let's go ahead and have him play some Space Explorer right now. I'm not sure if we'll get to um, go out and take the kids somewhere today, which is totally fine. But it looks like Messiah's here. What's up, my guy? Um, go ahead and say hi to him. Hug him lovingly. Um, what else do an impression and talk about school I feel like Layla does really um, prioritize her children having a good relationship with their father um, just because you know she lost Emilio speaking of Emilio we got a text from his ghost self that said congratulations on the new addition to the family now that isn't really realistic but I like to think that um, those texts that she get is just kind of her um, missing him a lot and just thinking about him um, a lot as well but Stephen did finish um, his movement skill um, neither of them are good at potty right now which we will fix that later it's totally fine um, but let's go ahead and play dolls with Jimmy that would be very fun so instead of taking the kids out to a park or a museum I kind of noticed that they were just a little bit on the hungrier side um, so Layla decided to go ahead and take them out um, as a treat to Danny's diner and just have a nice family meal just kind of sit down and get to know her kids just a little bit more because she has been or she has had to focus on all the kids and hasn't really spent some one-on-one -on -one time with them so they are here at the diner right now <laughs> and um, they are really excited because they've never been out to eat before so how about you guys draw on your placemats um, that'll be fun and then just go ahead and order right now um, but this is just a simple diner so the food shouldn't be too crazy expensive um, but I'm gonna have her get a water. Layla will get a water and then she's like, kids, you can get whatever you want. I don't mind tonight is my treat. So definitely think um, that Damien would get a root beer float. And then for Georgia, I feel like she would get something simple. Um, like, uh, I don't know if Sour Punch, is that like alcoholic? I don't, I have no idea. Um, I'll just get her some milk and then we're going to skip appetizers as always and then go to the main course. So let's see, we got pizza, um, we got hamburgers, uh, hot dogs, grilled cheese, mac and cheese, chili. Um, definitely feel like Layla would get chili 
really? That sounds so good. But for Damien, let's get some pepperoni pizza. And then Georgia, I feel like she would get some mac and cheese. But there we go. Super yummy. Oh, that makes me so hungry now. I love mac and cheese. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and talk to our kids just a little bit. Um, crack a few jokes. Tell a funny story. I think Georgia does have to pee, but we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> we're going to cheat that up. But it looks like the guy is about to take our order. And the kids aren't old enough to kind of order order for themselves. I mean, technically they are, but I think they're just scared to order for themselves. I feel that. I was like that as a kid. Um, but let's go ahead and ask about siblings. How do you guys feel about um, your new baby brothers? And they're like, eh, <laughs> they're all right. They're all right. Um, but Damien's going to talk about school a little bit. Um, what else? He can make funny faces. But I honestly love Georgia's curly hair. It's so pretty and I love Damien's hair as well. And I can't wait for them to age up which they probably will be doing in the next episode so i think what i'm gonna do is play off camera on sunday which would be tomorrow get everybody's skills up and then probably play off camera monday too um and just wait until they get to be a students and then just age them up from there and i'm sure the babies will be um aged up as well so everybody will be aged up so that'll be cool um i do want her to be able to get pregnant again but we're gonna have to wait until georgia and damien move out but it looks like like her chili is poor quality which kind of sucks but the mac and cheese and the pizza is normal so honestly that's all Layla cares about she just wants her kids to be happy um it doesn't really care about what she eats but what else can we do we can give them a heartfelt compliment like guys i know you guys are the oldest and you have a lot of responsibility on your hands um when it comes to taking care of your siblings but i am so very proud of you and i love you guys and you guys deserve this so looks like they're enjoying their food i really want a root beer float right now not gonna lie um but it looks like damien just became good friends with layla um and layla just became good friends with damien so that's awesome I didn't know they weren't good friends already, but I mean, that's totally fine. But uh, just looking at Emilio, it just makes me so sad. I feel like she wishes that she could just talk to him. Like, I don't know, like kind of manifest her in her dreams. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she is very interested in Salim. I feel like Salim has been very involved with her and just her life in general. Um, but she will always love Emilio and always have a place for him in her heart, if that makes sense. But I did want them to finish finish their food i'm not sure why sims don't finish their food when they go out to eat um it's kind of frustrating but it's totally fine i just make them eat it anyways like i'm not gonna let this food go to waste you know what i mean like i paid for this ish you know it is realistic that sims don't eat all of their food because like some of us don't eat all of our food when we go to restaurants as well but it's like i paid for this crap <laughs> okay like um i'm gonna eat all of it okay i actually had no idea we could put the placemats in their inventories and we can keep them kind of hang them up on the walls so i definitely want to do that but i do want her to finish her chili um her very poor quality chili which kind of sucks but it's fine um what can you do goof around with your brother a little bit um but it looks like she's done which is awesome so she's going to use the restroom does anybody else need to use the potty no i think we're all good so i think i'm gonna end the episode right here let me know what you guys thought about the episode and like i said i will be playing off camera um just a tiny bit and i think we will be aging up somebody in the next episode i'm not sure who it's gonna be yet but it will definitely be somebody so don't forget to leave a like on the video and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i post a new upload and as always don't forget to subscribe bye y'all